All right. Welcome to this little discussion on something called text styles and dimension styles. Uh, we'll also cover a little bit about point styles. Um, and you might be looking a little miss a miss when you see Civil 3D up here. Um, I want to point out to those of you who have not yet downloaded AutoCAD, one of the AutoCAD products, I highly suggest that you do that. You can talk to me or one of the other civil or one of the other drafting instructors about which one to install. But as a rule, realize that you might as well install one of the higher end products because they all pretty much have AutoCAD running underneath them. That's what I'm going to be doing here. Um, except for Inventor, and everyone should install Inventor because that's just a lot of fun. All right, so if you remember, we're not going to, um, we, we, we always want to start by getting our, our kind of, um, our profile set correctly. And so we do that by hitting right click or saying profile, going to options, going to the right spot out there, options, and going out here to profiles. And you'll see also, you start to see this kind of AIC editor, lots of different stuff additional tabs when you get going here. Well, I'm not going to do that today um, because I'm at home doing this. Cancel, cancel. What I am going to do, though, is show you a couple of toolbars um, and also show you the fact that when you get another software, your toolbars, you've got two, couple, three sets of toolbars. So what I want to do is I want to bring up the properties toolbar. So I'm going to go to any toolbar. My view toolbar there is, is right there. That's actually a panel, it turns out. So I should probably put that one back up there. You do minus toolbar. Minus toolbar. And you bring up the typically the draw toolbar. And you show it. And I'm going to kind of close these out right now if I can. Or minus them and minus them for now. Um, and here's your draw toolbar out here. Right click any toolbar brings up the styles. Okay, the styles toolbar. And this is the toolbar that's going to show you what style you have are set for text, dimension, tables, and leaders or multi line leader. We'll be using those uh, a little bit later here in drafting. And so. Anytime you see everything set up to standard is probably not a good idea because no one's really put any thought into this. Uh, and unfortunately, sometimes the standard, at least with a couple of the templates that we have set up here at MidState, the standard is not is actually kind of not right. So the way you go about doing these are basically you can either click to, to change the styles, you can click on that right there. Or click on that right there for dimension or that for table and tables are going to be really powerful um, and we will use them eventually but let's all realize that we learn we're learning Microsoft Office and Excel or we can use Google Docs or we can use um, any other set of spreadsheets and then bring them into AutoCAD so my suggestion for most is to do in the program like Excel do your tables AutoCAD do your vector work and in something like Photoshop do your raster work and you'll see there are going to be things to bring them together so we're just going to show you here how to set up the style and go back into that dimension style stuff we're going to click on that style and this, the, the, the actual command is style and you see here in this drawing we've got a couple of styles set up and we'll talk later about annotative. It's it's the kind of style where your text will float around based on your, your scale. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go and we're going to make um, a new style based again on the standard. So the standard is there. We're going to hit new. And I'm going to give it my name, Mark1. That then allows me to go ahead and change some things. And you'll see you'll have a preview here. For instance, I can change the simplex style, simplex font to something, and now I'm going to be boring here, Ariel Black, A-R-I, -A I'm sorry, I'm going to Ariel Black. There's lots of different fonts, and that's one of the few ways that firms really are going to, um, boy, that's pretty bad, Ariel, A, B, C, D, okay, there it is. Ariel Black is one of my favorites, it's the kind of blocky right there, so you kind of see it's kind of blocky. 
you're going to have all kinds of different stuff. Here's the one key thing when setting up a style. Make sure you keep the height as zero unless you're going to be using the annotative. And the other thing that's pretty nice, not for this font per se, is to change your width factor, maybe about 0.85 or 0.9, and maybe an obliquing angle. It just gives a little panache. And you can set it current, yes, and then apply or close. What this now does is any text you put in on your drawing will go in with this style and then you can change it later if you want. There's a lot of different ways to put in text. M text is kind of the standard if you just hit the kind of text here on the to on the draw toolbar there's a text thing. But D text is particularly nice for single line text. So I'm going to show you that first. D T E X T. What's nice about it um, you can give it the, it's going to ask you the, the height each time. So I'm going to grab a start point there, and then it's going to give me my height, and I can be kind of specific about that. And remember that you'll maybe be thinking about a scale, so you're going to have to think about a height. So in this case, I guess I'll just leave it at 0.2, and it's giving me a rotation angle, and then I can see what I type. And then I think you hit right click cancel at that point. Ah, that's not right. I always get this wrong. One more time. D text. And then click off on the side of the screen. Oh. One last time. I gotta learn this command. D text. Justify click that point, point two, and I'm going to say this is the toughest part. And you can do another line. You can do two lines. And if you notice there, that text is going in and it went in. So very often, depending on the scale that you're plotting at, it should go in. So we'll now we'll try this again now that we got the kind of general bit. D text. Justify a point here. Point two. Rotation. This is the next line. And I just hit a blank return then to finish it out. Okay. So that is styles basically so pretty much all you're going to use the style command for or the, the the text style one is to change the font you are not going to set the height and that's the problem with uh, anything that then uses this font later if the height is set it becomes a problem so now I'm going to take you into the dimension style and do the same thing review here we're going to go to standard somehow things have already been overridden we're going to make a new style we're going to call it mark dim for now we're going to do all dimensions we're going to continue and if you notice mark dim the only thing that's really we're going to be changing is going to be on the fit tab it's right down here but a really key key thing on the here tan on the the dimension style is that you then use a style that you created and then set the tight tight here hit okay Okay, set current, close. Now, if in fact you draw a line and then do a dimension, so right click any toolbar to bring up another toolbar, you can go to the dimension, which comes up right here. And now, if you do a dimension, it's going to use that dimension style. Whatever's the current style is what it's going to use. So if I use, remember, the aligned. I can hit a space bar, grab here, and it's going to use that style uh, of text. You could go back and change that again, but those are the things you need to know, basically, that you just change one thing in the style, and that is you, you keep everything, that's always keep the text at zero, and on dimension style, if you remember, the one place you have to change is going to be in the YMCA. I might want to change that to two. You can change other things, but this is where you do it. Set current, close. You notice it changed that text size. 
Thanks for listening. That's Styles.